Hello friends, subscribe technology and press the bell icon to never miss the updates. Hey what's up guys, welcome back to our channel Technology. So today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to run a Windows 7 operating system on your Android mobile phone. So you just need to follow me and don't forget to subscribe our channel Technology. So without wasting any more time, let's start the video. So at first you need to download the Windows 7 operating system from my link. So I will give you the link on my video description. So after download, you have to uh, copy that uh, file to your uh, download folder. So in my case, uh, here is a here is a Win, Windows 7 uh, ISO file. Okay. So if you will use a normal ISO file, then it will not work. So you have to download only this ISO file. So after download Windows 7 ISO on your Android mobile phone, you have to go to your Play Store, and after that you have to search one application. It's called uh, Limbo. Okay. So now you have to install this application on your Android mobile phone. It's called Limbo. Click on Accept. So after installing uh, Limbo PC emulator on your Android mobile phone, you have to click on open. So now click on don't save again. Now what you have to do, you need to uh, click on this right side corner non button. Okay. And after that click on new. And now you have to put some name over there like I will put here Windows 7. And after that click on create now from the architecture you have to select a uh, 64 bit and the machine type you have to select a uh, pc and the cpu model you have to select a uh, uh, sandy bridge this one okay now cpu core you have to select a 4 and ram memory you have to select a uh, 600 MB okay so if you have a uh, more than 4 GB RAM you can try uh, 800 or 900 uh, MB RAM so in my case I will choose a uh, only 60 600 uh, MB RAM okay after that you have to click on this hard disk A and after that click on this non button and now click on open so now you have to select the ISO file which you have downloaded from my link and after that you have to scroll down and from the VGA display you have to select a uh, VMware and scroll down and boot from device you have to select a uh, hard disk after that scroll down from the user interface you have to select a uh, SDL and now scroll down and select the high priority okay for that click on OK so now you have to scroll up and click on this start button so now as you can see it's starting so now I'm going to rotate my screen so now it will take some time so it's depend on your uh, processor and RAM speed okay so in my case it has taken near about uh, 30 to uh, 45 minutes okay so as you can see starting right now So I hope this small video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like button and share button and if you have any questions or questions then comments down below. I will see you guys in the next one next video. Take care.